Yes, it would be. But uh, that doesn't matter now, because uh, we are in the semi-final, I think, from uh, the loser brackets uh, in the best out of three of Team Avalanche versus uh, Team L6. Uh, Team Avalanche is on the Radiant and uh, Team L6 is on the Dire. And we just jumped into the bands and picks, and my co-caster is Enro from uh, Crush from Enro. Enro Giffins. Yes. Hello. Hi. So... I uh, have no idea what kind of game this is going to be. Yeah, me neither. I ju we just played versus Ava. We didn't face Team L6 once that uh, tournament, so yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, well, no Invoker and no... Uh, there's some pretty fast bands now yeah. for the Radiant. No Invoker, no Night Stalker and no Broodmother. That means that uh, they might want to go for for an anti-mage. They will have the f uh, Radiant will have the first pick. Avalanche will have the first pick, so they m they might want to go for that. Yeah, it's possible. But uh, they're not so sure about the next ban, I guess. Um, we sh we uh, we have seen Shadow Demon play today once by uh, by you actually twice. Yeah, once I played once. it. Yeah. And uh, for the rest, it's only either been banned or just not picked up at all. Oh, there's the anti-mage ban. So they don't I want that for themselves. Uh, we still have a Furion in the game. The Dyer can now decide if they either want a Furion or a Darkseer, I guess. Uh oh, Shadow Demon. Hello, Shadow Demon. The Windrunner. Tidehunter. And still no, uh, no Darkseer. I wonder if Avalanche is going to pick that one up. We've seen him banned quite a lot. Yeah, it would fit the dire line of kind of right now. More team fight uh, availability. It's gonna be Vengeful Spirit instead. Some uh, unusual picks for the first three heroes. Yeah. Actually, it looks kind of like lineup we played. You can easily do Roshan with that uh, Beastmaster and Vengeful picks. Yeah, you just skill the aura on Beastmaster and the uh, uh, Terror, or the Hole, however it's called. Yeah. Uh, I never play Vengeful. Uh, you uh, reduce the armor of Roche, and you got so much attack speed on everyone. You just finish him down very fast before the creeps even spawn. <coughs> Might be what they uh, what they plan to do, but at least it's uh, it's nice auras uh, stacking regardless. Yeah. It's always nice. Yeah. And Alish gets picked up. Nice pushing hero, although I'm not a big fan of him. Yeah, Lashrock is very nice, he can just you know, get down a tower with one edict if it runs out without a glyph. Yeah. Uh, they uh, don't know what to ban, the Radiant uh, Team Avalanche doesn't. Uh, they go into reserve time for their first ban of the second ban stage. Quite a bit over the top. Yeah, they will be talking about their strategy. Or about the possible strategy of the Dire. I mean, the Dire still doesn't have a carry. Yeah. And they might want to ban out some of those. Oh, they're going to ban out the Omni Knight instead. Interesting. I think no team played Omni Knight so far, right? Nope. We haven't I seen haven't it. haven't seen any. Oh. Not in my, my games either. All ban. The Dyer don't really know what to ban yet either, I guess. Seems like it. But uh, I think the Radiant will benefit from uh, from some more teamfight availability. Uh, a ability, teamfight ability, wow. And uh, so the Dyer might want to ban out those. Might want to ban out uh, Enigma or a Sand King. Or a Venomancer, which we haven't seen picked up yet. Mm. And the Dyer, the, the Radiant are just banning out supports, which. Yeah, actually, Radiant got the support heroes they want, and uh, they know Dyer needs uh, L6 still needs the support heroes, so they send out Maiden. But anyways, I think we will see uh, Shadow Demon on some support role, kind of support so role. Not Since on they the have middle Beast lane. Master, they will they will probably play Beastmaster on mid lane. They can have him on a solo lane top also or bottom. Ah, even. but it's pretty weak if. You play versus a ranged hero with a melee on the side lane, it's always hard. 
True. I guess it will also depend on uh, on what hero the die will pick up that will be their middle lane because I don't think they have one yet, even though Lashrak could go middle, but yeah. No. Ah, there is Enigma. Enigma. They picked the two Enigma counters, Venge and Beastmaster, and then they picked it up by themselves. <laughs> yep. And uh, the last ban from the Dire was the Darkseer. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't that be a great hero to have in their lineup? Why would they ban that one out? They don't want to fight against it. Well, I think the laning is kind of hard to do because Windrunner... Uh, I think they aim for Windrunner on the side lane and Tide Lashrock plus some support hero on the try and some... Solo mid hero and Darkseer is considered not as the best mid hero. No, but you could have had a picked up a last mid hero and should have went uh, Tide and Leshrac on the top lane. Yeah, they could have. Because so uh, Leshrac together with Darkseer is really amazing, especially with Tide as well. Yeah, also with Tide. Yeah. Well, the Dire needs some damage. Maybe oh, I was gonna say Queen of Pain <laughs> definitely was this time. Even though I'm not a fan. This playstyle is getting seen a lot, really. This AoE combos, Queen of Pain, Lashrock, Tide, Vindrona getting picked almost every game. Yeah, we have we haven't seen a lot of uh, variation, even though the lineup for the for the uh, team Avalanche is, is now uh, quite original so far. Yeah, yeah, it is. So that's at least something. I think I've seen Tide and Windrunner in every game I've streamed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Venomancer also, otherwise he got banned. Yeah. And that's weird, but me, I don't really like Venomancer that much. I think he's uh, oh, what? a bit too slow and a bit too weak. I'm a I'd huge fan like of Venomancer. Venomancer can be super offensive. Yeah, Venomancer is a great hero indeed. I also saw Navi first picking it in their last games yeah. a lot. Yeah, there is a Lifestealer. Yeah, Lifestealer. Some uh, good damage. And uh, he ah, will profit from those auras also. <coughs> they wanted a, a carry who can uh, stay against their lineup, and since he has that rage, he's not getting any spell damage. And it's actually a very nice pick versus the dial. Um, because, yeah, he's just not getting any spell damage, and they have five ca five nukes. Yeah, Ancient Depuration, a nice pick, though. Also, a bit of a. in a reply to Life Sealer, so we can't yeah. get that Life Seal if he gets his ulti up. I'm 100% sure they lane tight AA and Leshrock. Yeah. yeah. Something that I think is weird, I haven't seen Tiny getting banned or picked in one single game. Oh yeah, yeah. we've seen so him picked. So much the last weeks. We've yeah. seen him picked. I am just going to go over the lineup of uh, of uh, Team Avalanche. So that uh, people know who's playing what. We see uh, Malkpak on... Uh, on the Enigma, who is uh, seemingly going towards the bottom lane. A Boxgrove is on the Shadow Demon, who is not sure yet where to go, so we are not sure yet where he's going either. <laughs> and uh, we see uh, Chen, Chen on the Beastmaster going towards the top lane. And it seems indeed that uh, Boxgrove on this uh, Shadow Demon is going to be on the middle lane, solo mid. Uh, Dutchman is uh, on the Vengeful Spirit and will probably help out uh, the bottom lane on a tri lane with the uh, Lifestealer there being played by uh, the Black Gypsy. I'm not going to be able to say that in, in the English version, but it, it's basically the Black Gypsy, which his name is. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah then we have here uh, Team L6 playing, uh, uh, don't panic, playing Lashrock. Uh, on the triple lane carry as the triple lane carry top, then we have Shiggy playing the Tide Hunter, Pogo Pushel as the Ancient Apparition main support. At the mid lane we got Queen of Pain, played by Senior Hydra, and on the bottom lane we got uh, Binge Runner played by Ten, minus nine, whatever. <laughs> ten. Ten to the minus nine. Yep. Exactly. I call him Ten. Okay. There is a haste rune spawning bottom. They might go for some first blood actions with it. Yeah, they're gonna yeah, they wait the for it. They wait for it, and they're gonna yeah, try they to get the wind runner as the first yeah. kill. Queen of Pain would be too hard with the blink. Yeah. Now world goes up on uh, for uh, Team Avalanche. Uh, also a bit aggressive on the bottom lane. Yeah. And this Beastmaster is gonna have a lot of trouble on the top lane, by the way, with the. Uh, he, him versus three. 
Yeah, that's what I meant. He's just a melee hero. He can't get any last hits without using spells, and he also doesn't have a high mana pool to spam them. Nope. So he will have a very hard time there. I'm uh, expecting that they will change lanes at some point. Uh, Enigma is yeah. in the forest, by the way. Just they so should. Far. With nakes and two range supporters, you should always face the tri lane. I think that was the plan. And with the beast meshes hold the top, there's not a single ward. You can yeah. have free creep pulling as well. Yeah. Yeah, even though he will have a bird soon to uh, to actually see what's going on there. And again, we have Shadow Demon versus Queen of Pain mid. <laughs> we have yeah. this today already. So early. <coughs> it's, uh, yeah, Shadow Demon is just with the Shadow Poison is just so strong. Yeah. Such a harassment hero. Also, that damage amplifying spell is just <laughs> awesome. Soul Catcher. Yeah, yeah Soul Catcher. And, and being able to spam out the Shadow Poison because it's got so low mana and still does so much damage. Yeah, on the mid lane he can just grab up a bottle, pick up some runes, get a cane boots and he can spam it however he wants. Yep. It's just kinda hard to hit in Dota 2, I think. It's very hard to hit the Shadow Poison. It seems like they make like all the animations, not like um, smaller per se, but a little bit, what we call it, like thinner. Mm -hmm. Like Burrow Strike and all the waveform and all those kind of spells have been a little bit thinner. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. It's been too long. Too long. And uh, Beastmaster's finally getting into uh, the range of some experience. Yay for him. He's level 2. Yeah, level 2. But I really think the triple lane goes in favor of the Dire team. Oh, yeah, 100%. Windrunner is just a better hero to stay against the tri lane, and they also have the better tri lane if you compare the pushing powers. When Lashrock is gaining some levels, he can just push down the tower very fast, while on the bottom you can't really pressure the tower that hard that early. This uh, Windrunner on the on the bottom lane has zero last hit so far, while uh, Lifesteer yeah. already has 17, 18 now, sorry. Uh, but yeah, she's just not getting anything at all. She's really scared, I wonder why though, she has a ward there, she sees them. Yeah, true. She could be a bit more aggressive, just a bit of harassment. Yeah. Wouldn't be uh, out of line. No, oh, she's trying it now. <laughs> Overdoing it a little bit though. And uh, in the middle lane, that Shadow Demon is uh, having a heavy harassment on the Queen of Pain. She's just yeah. not able to do a lot. And uh, last hits 15 for the Shadow, sorry, for 15 for the Queen of Pain and 13 for the Shadow Demon. So in that aspect, Queen of Pain is actually out farming uh, Shadow Demon, but only by little. So it's, it's kind of even so far. <laughs> but yeah. the beast, uh, top the beastmaster is just trying to grab some creeps with his axes, but he's just pushing the lane and yeah. yeah. And, and he has. You won't see anything there. No, he has a. Happening. He has a. Seven creeps. Seven creeps yeah. has one. Oh, Introna has one. Yay! Set of zero. It's always uh, good. Uh, Let's Shrek farm on the top lane. He's got fifteen. Actually, Tidehunter has got seven also. They're sharing it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they. A six yeah, in the Age of Deprivation. They also got neutral kills besides, and they got more XP out of it if they pull. But yeah, the Radiant is also pulling, so it should be kind of equal farm. Just snakes getting more last hits. A <laughs> life stealer. Enigma getting a double damage renew. We see a lot of harassment on the on the Shadow Demon. It's gonna oh. go down. It's gonna be first of blood from uh, Queen of Pain. Right clicking him down, Enigma's there, but he's just too late. Even with his uh, double damage rune. But he will be able to pick up the farm for uh, leftover by the Shadow Demon. That was very nice. Queen of Pain is pretty good against Shadow Demon mid. He can just pick up the runes without blink, and Shadow Demon can't reach. Yeah, but if Shadow Demon's got a, got a bottle, he should be able to. Uh, to harass so much with that shadow poison. No. There is a uh, on the 
on the bottom lane now. Windrunner is still playing and so safe. They're not gonna get a kill on her anytime soon, I uh, think. Uh, the problem is she's pushing the lane with her power shot all yeah. the time. So she's using a power shot to get to actually get any last hits. I don't know though. It's it's better to get some last hits than no, no last hits at all. I mean. Yeah, but if she just wouldn't spend those power shots at all, the creeps would be at the tower and she could last it. True. I like the Beastmaster's trying. Beastmaster <laughs> who now has eight last hits. Yay. But yeah, that's actually uh, a lost lane right there. And and I'm curious why uh, why Avalanche isn't switching their lanes up. Yeah, they should do something soon. But well, I think it's uh, just their goal to get the nakes very far. So it's fine for now. Maybe they will come top as soon as they see the towers getting pushed. Yeah, but I mean, at least the vengeful spirit would be able to get to to go there. We I mean, yeah, life stealer would be fine for the wind runner by himself. It seems. No. Nexus has already picked him ahead of Midas. Yeah, ooh, yeah. we see uh, Queen of Pain being in a little bit of trouble here, but uh, Shadow Demon also in trouble. Shout because of a last hit, right click from uh, from Queen of Pain. Oh. Yep. That is. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's pretty good what uh, Avalanche is doing here. They are uh, just playing this very safe. They get. They win. All the lanes, I mean, like bottom, the Nax has huge farm, while Lash Rock Top has not so much. And they have an additional jungler who is always in the jungle getting creeps. Enigma is not low on CS as well. And, yeah. You know, if you looked at the gold graph, it's. Yeah, it's in favor it's going of the for them Even to though. To farm. Yeah. And quite for quite a lot, also, with two kills difference. Yeah, yeah. And even the first black gold. Yeah. But should remember as well that, um,. Dyer has a pretty good pushing lineup, so they will yeah. probably get a few towers, which will even it out. Yeah, but they didn't try to pressure anywhere at all yet. Well, Lash Rock is level 5, maybe they're gonna... Whoa! It. Shadow Queen of Pain loses her ulti to, to get rid of uh, Shadow Demon once again. That's three three deaths for Sh Queen of Pain, who wow. almost <laughs> dies. Whoa! I don't think she was expecting that. Yeah. But actually, the mid lane is working out for the entire team. Definitely is. It's pretty nice. 3 0 2 0 3. Yeah. And it's, uh. Yeah, definitely convincing from the Queen of Pain. Still good play by Ava. Like, what does the entire team really have against the farm Nikes? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think uh, there was a game earlier today where Avalanche also had a, a life stealer. And they were playing versus I play, and they were ha they had such a strong life stealer. They they lost the game, but their life stealer was just ripping through everything. Yeah, yeah. I saw that too. too. Yeah. And Beastmaster's getting gold top. Oh, he's gonna die. Uh, last hit goes to the Shrek. Oh. It's bullet. easy for them now. They will just focus on the tower now, I guess. Yeah, and they will they will start pushing, I guess. Check the gold on the track. Pretty high as well. But he hasn't bought anything though. Looks like he still has his beginner's items. Yeah. I actually got a bug. I, I just see Enigma's inventory all the time. Oh. And <laughs> I can't switch to any other inventory. That's a bit weird. Yeah, I did. We see Lifestealer having uh, even more farm on the bottom lane. And still, there's not a single hero that has lost, uh, has left his lane. Apart from yeah. Enigma sometimes getting out of the forest and taking over the farm when the Shadow Demon wasn't there. But that's all. Nobody is teleported. Ooh, the top tower is gonna go down. Oh, Beastmaster uh, going with the ultimate end. Oh. oh my god, he's killing Tidehunter one by one versus three. That's very nice from the Beastmaster, who has to run to be able to get away from this, but a di diabolic edict. Yeah, the creep ate the whole edict, so it was good for him. <laughs> yeah, ooh, and then Enigma is getting the last hit on the Ancient Depression, and I was just complaining that nobody came to teleport in, and there was Enigma teleporting in and getting a kill. It was a nice regal. Yeah, and uh, the bottom tower, uh, bottom tier 1 tower of the Dire is also down. And uh, they, didn't ha they didn't even have to lose the tier 1 tower on the top lane for it. The Avalanche didn't li yep. need to lose it. So that's uh, not bad, so we'll see the gold graph spike back to... Uh, 
more favor of uh, Avalanche. Uh, they kind of underrated the Beastmaster. I mean, they pressured him hard, but he still got his ultimate and his axes, and he just struck down that tight very fast. Yeah. Now Queen of Pain grabs some Invis rune. We might see some action. Uh, or she might just try to kill the Shadow Demon. Yeah. <laughs> She's Shadow Demon once <laughs> again. She <laughs> has her, her, her ult up, but she doesn't have a lot of mana left. Oh, getting hit. Oh, there we go. Shout goes off, ult goes off, and Shadow Demon has to make sure he gets away from this blink wall. B of cooldown, but she, she doesn't want to try. Nice getaway for uh, Shadow Demon. Did, did Shadow Demon had ultimate up? I can't see because he did. I can't click him. He did. He could just have killed him because Scream of uh, Queen had used everything on cooldown. No, he, he didn't. didn't. He didn't. Oh. He just used his uh, disruption. That is correct. But yeah, the the gold craft is uh, almost 2k in advantage of the radiant, with still a team advantage for the dire, a kill advantage for the dire. Oh. It's quite a big difference for uh, for gold. Uh, well, they have a tower now, of course, that helps. Definitely helps. Age Depression tries to uh, find the shadow demon, and the uh, shadow demon backs back, backs off again. Well, actually, <laughs> I rarely see such a farm snakes. It's awesome. Oh, he got blocked. Queen of Pain got blocked yeah. by the loot. I see it. They, uh, yeah, but yeah, he Shadow Demon didn't. Yeah, he had to back off for his tired and AA. Yeah. <laughs> so it was nice to see. He has a ward there, so he he need to see them coming. And Nigma might want to try something though. Uh, go for the something. Shadow Demon coming to help out. Uh, they're gonna go for uh, for Lashrek, I think. But they're gonna run into a uh, Tidehunter and an uh, AA. Queen of Pain will be there to help out. Illusion. No, she won't. She's gonna continue farming. I think something's about to happen on the top lane, but, uh, but otherwise it would be quite a, a silent game. Yeah, Enigma got the black hole up, I'm sure he wants to use it there. Ah, oh, they got disconnected. The hell. Reconnect. Am I still here? Testing. One, two, three. <coughs> this is not good. Waiting until we're loading back into the game. And perhaps uh, reconnecting to the interwebs. Which doesn't seem to be a nope. the, the, the case at the moment. Oops. It's no internet at the moment. It's a bit crappy. It's the first time it happens. Why don't I have internet? Back now? Oh, hello! Here we go, one is back in. That was my internet that just dropped out. Yeah, probably. I'm still on the loading screen, oh, and I'm back. Wow, that was bad. What? So what happened on the top lane? What did I miss? There is one kill for the for extra no, for the No, there was uh, Queen of Pain went through in the middle and killed Vengeful Spirit. But that was pretty much it. Oh. So there was no action on the top lane. Oh. That's a shame. We saw Enigma trying to set one up with uh, using his ultimate, but the uh, the dire side just stays back behind the tower. Yeah, um, pretty smart. Oh, Nike's the very nice escape with his ultimate there at the bottom lane. Wow. Oh, but he's still gonna go down to the Windrunner though. Who gets away? It was very close with the ultimate, yeah. Beastmaster ulti on the tide. Oh, and the black hole comes just getting the tide hunter in. Lashrek uh, chasing the Beastmaster. Cold feet on the Enigma is uh, gonna get him killed though. Last hit for range depression. Sun goes off on the Vengeful Spirit who's gonna almost get right click down. Still uh, 
Le Shrek finishing off the Beastmaster with his uh, Lightning Storm. Stun goes off on the Ancient Deparation, who's gonna get killed soon, I think, to the Shadow Demon. And uh, in the meantime, Le Shrek still died to Eidolon due to the Enigma. Yeah, the killed him. Yeah. One Eidolon and a few creeps. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And, and, the, and, the, and the Beastmaster and the roll ball. bore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Queen of Pain rooting for I top. I'm happy that uh, they waited with some action before uh, until I was the, you know, back. Mm -hmm. He's at least friendly of him. I have to say that Queen of Pain is working out for the Dyer. She's playing really well, but that bot lane just uh, the Nike's farm is very, very bad for them. Yeah, and, and they just let the Nike's farm also. <laughs> well, he died now once, which is good. But yeah, but 110 creeps at the 15 minutes mar minute mark is very much. Yeah. Even if you got 10 of Midas, he's gaining more out of it. He will be so farmed later on. He's already farmed now, but yeah. He should be shut down more than he is at the moment. Oh, the Enigma might be in some trouble here, getting the gush, getting cold feet, and won't be able to do anything, it just will go down to the power shot of Windrunner. And, uh, D Diabolic goes off, Wind <laughs> Shadow AA Demon kills off the AA, it's uh, not that much problem, and uh, he's trying to get away, he gets shackle shot, but it doesn't latch, and uh, stun doesn't hit, because it's only a uh, level 1 stun, it seems. A Ravage goes off from the Tidehunter. Beastmaster is there too, shouts out the last rack and Axis will fly through the last rack and he will get the last hit but he might also die himself with the Queen of Pain finishing off Vengeful Spirit with a shout and uh, Life Stealer is gonna get a kill here now too, never mind, great shackle shot from the Windrunner. <laughs> Shackling both uh, Life Stealer and Shadow Demon together. Uh, they might, might want to go for this Queen of Pain there, but now nah, she will be able to blink away. Gush goes off on the Life Stealer, who will turn his turn back uh, towards the Tide Hunter, and uh, he will die. Tide Hunter, that is. Uh, Aalc uh, flies in, but uh, yeah, I don't think he will kill anything. Ooh, she um, power the five sex Shadow Poison just finished off that Queen of Pain. No? Oh, did I miss that? She was about to survive, but then she walked in two yeah. times again, got double the Shadow Poison stacks on her and died. There were a lot of splitted fights, there were like two people going in, three going out, two going in, it was just yeah, a long chase fight. Yeah, I think uh, the one that came out on top was actually the Radiant Avalanche. Yes, Nice the came in and uh, saved the day there. Yeah, and he, and he got some, uh, some extra kills and, and some extra farm, and he just teleports back to the, to the bottom lane to continue his farm. This time for the Lashrak. Who is uh, happy to push back the lane a bit? Also, we didn't see too much towers fall yet. I mean, it's uh, exactly they had flash and, and, and they have windrunner in in ancient apparition. They are not pushing any towers. Yeah. Mm. One, one tower for each. One. Yeah. This enigma is uh gonna. Why is he rock walking back? Cold feet it slowed, and uh, the hunter will finish him off with an anchor smash. Shadow Not Demon teleported team. in, but I uh, don't know uh, why exactly. Ages Separation will fly in, hits him actually. Queen of Pain is there, Shout goes on Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain goes down to the Beastmaster, mm -hmm. but Shadow Demon still goes down also to uh, the Ages Separation, uh, who is in trouble himself uh, with uh, being slowed by the boar and uh, still puts on the cold feet on the Beastmaster, who will get stunned soon if he doesn't move, and he doesn't move. So Tiny, Tiny, wow, Tidehunter is able to get away. <laughs> nice boar up by Beastmaster. Yeah. That's slow on Tiny, a uh, Tidehunter. Oh. He should have used that urn for him instead of <laughs> oh, healing himself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, nice played by Tidehunter being able to get away there. Oh. Very well by Beastmaster coming in with the ultimate, saving him for a little while before a Queen of Pain. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it's good for Avalanche if they take such fights like versus three and they still get out pretty good of it um, yeah or, or even even I mean yeah as long as yeah. the life sealer is able to farm unhindered and if they're able to get some distraction up oh, the queen of pain going mid not getting him though I oh think. he might though he gets slowed he uh yeah blink is there oh black <laughs> hole what the black hole until the rest is there the shout will still finish him finish off the enigma but she will die herself also 
Oh no, she won't. Yes, she will. Never mind. Beast monster gets her kill. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the best fights, aren't they? Like, yes, she will die. No, she won't. If it's not sure who will die and who won't, that's the best fights. Yeah, but still, she fought one versus oh, three. Oh, we see a life stealer dying to Lashrak on the bottom lane. His deprivation flew in a bit too late, but uh, yeah. Life stealer does for Lashrak doesn't have any uh, mana left and uh, only a little bit of health. But still, then we gotta see a kill on the Beastmaster though in the middle lane. Uh, but nope. he gets away with the uh, urn charge on him to heal him up again. Beastmaster playing very well with the boar, slowing down both the opponent heroes. Nice micro managing then. And the boar actually uh, gets out alive. <laughs> Miracle. But yeah, I think I yeah I still have the right gold craft even though I'm disconnected. It's a uh, is it's a two K advantage for the radiant. It's it's not that much for this uh, at this stage. Uh, but since they are still the same tower and uh, and kills behind, it's actually a nice amount. And uh, I expect uh, most of that farm is on the life stealer. What? Sorry. Queen of Pain just started to go on Shadow Demon top, but she escaped. Yeah, I'm I'm on the top. <laughs> I'm on the top. Keeping an eye. Agony Scepter completed on the Queen of Pain. She'll be doing a lot of damage. Ooh, nice shackle shot on the Vengeful Spirit who will be frost footed and uh, Titan Hunter will finish her off with the gush. Where did Winter I came from? I guess that I guess that was Paint a... Ancient Yasha on, na uh, on Lifestealer, actually. It's yep. Very interesting. <laughs> nice build. Top or that will happen. I don't know if it's so good slowing them down. They have a lot to save us. But well, tower another tower has fallen, finally. Finally, tower. indeed. Let's try getting the tower money. No. And, uh... Yeah, experience is quite even. No, oh, gold now should be quite even once again since they lost the tower. Uh, since uh, Avalanche lost the tower. Although the gold, gold graph isn't updated yet. And uh, <laughs> Life Stealer thought he had a, an Asian depression there, but it was an uh, illusion only. And uh, both teams playing very carefully again. Yeah, well, the Team of Six is. Buying some aura items, they got drums already, and I'm not sure what Tidehunter will do. I think he just aims straight for dagger, and as soon as he has his dagger farmed, they will start to pressure. <laughs> Windrunner not going for mechanism. No, but already has the four staff up. Yeah. Yeah, she has pretty good farm. She was versus the tree lane. Yeah, I don't call that pretty good farm. She has pretty good farm now, but she had a very rough start. Yeah, well, she didn't die at once, and True. she has her items she needs. True. Next, going for Besher now. Oh. Yeah, and he just is able to continue that farm in the forest. I think he will just go for Abyssal Blade then. Yeah. That is a great item to have on next. Yeah. Two seconds done, just bananas. Such a good item for s some heroes. For most heroes, actually. I no. saw it on Queen of Pain. Yeah, Queen of Pain in one of my games. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Blinking stun. I think that but was it had uh, melee range only, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it was uh, L6 versus um, uh, those. Um, and now I have forgotten again. Something Knowledge zero. is zero. Knowledge is zero. There we, I think it was that game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'm not sure. I will see uh, Vengeful Spirit probably going to go for a uh, mechanism, but it might take a while because she barely has any farm. And she died three times already. It's uh, I'm missing the action. As in, there is no action. Ooh, yeah, there is action now on the bottom lane where... T where Lifestealer was in trouble, but it was able to teleport out because there was no stun on the Lashrak. Yeah. And he finished off his best special now. He got it in his inventory. Cool. I'm expecting that we'll see some uh, some fights coming out from the Lifestealer. Or will he continue to farm even more? It might be dangerous to continue to farm now. His team is suffering a little bit because yeah. he's farming so much, but... 
Yeah. We'll see. They're still quite even though. I mean, even with Knife Sealer farming, they're only one tower behind. And, and they can get that tower. I mean, the middle tower is so low. Nobody's even gonna try to get into uh, to last hit it, even though it's in the eye range. Yeah, right now, Nike spends himself two items. He should really start to do something with it. Yeah, yeah, I fully <laughs> agree. And he it will is be more fun than to any watch. hero in the game right now, so he should use the potential. One problem that the Avalanche team can have is that if Nags goes down, they can have troubles team fighting. Yeah, even the other way. If everyone dies except Nakes, he can't really do a lot against them because they have uh, disables, they uh, they have wind run, so they slow. have blinks, they can just kite him. Yeah. Yeah, they need uh, some more disables uh, in items also. I haven't seen any smoke in this game. Is that possible? You are correct. No smokes. No. Maybe that's why there is not so much action. They should buy a smoke. Yeah, and, and I, I, I like uh, I would like life here than jumping into uh, something and then just do it yeah. that way in Beastmaster, preferably. Oh, an Enigma got the dagger, jumping in with black hole snakes coming out. That would be yeah, do that one. Tide has his blink now. Dude, uh, Enigma um, has the money for Blink as well. Yeah, just uh, got it. I think he's gonna go for BKB first though. No, maybe. Yeah, Mana Boots and Blink Dagger on tight indeed. It's the only things he had. has. And uh, both teams just happy with uh, farming a little bit. Oh, even though uh, the bottom tier 2 tower is gonna get pushed from, uh, from the Dire. The cliff goes off, Age Deparation hits uh, three of them. And no, it doesn't stop them. They're backing off now. Uh, they, they have to back off, and they even go on the Beastmaster top. Ooh, there we go, nice shackle shot, Beastmaster two or three. Queen of Pain uses her ulti to finish him off. Don't think that was worth it, as in, don't think that was needed, I should say. But yeah. I'm not sure why Beastmaster bought Necro 3. Maybe he just bought it because they have so you much AoE and you know someone will kill it for sure in the fight and someone will take that damage. You're talking yeah. at the same yeah, time for yeah. me. Can't hear either of you, so yeah. Sorry. Radiant top tower. And uh, now, I, now you both are silent. <sighs> now they're pressuring two lanes. Yeah, and do a good job also. There's no defensing coming for the Radiant on the yeah. top tower. Now some people go top and they know they can go for bottom tower. Yeah, even Shadow Demon is not there, they know that. Life Sealer and Venomance of uh, a Vengeful Spirit are there though. Sorry. Fees. Stupid fees. Yeah. They uh, they can't take this. These they they can do a good job uh, killing stuff. But I still see I wanna see Life Sealer jumping into something and then just <laughs> coming out would be so much fun. No, uh, Life Sealer is actually going on the Lashrak, popping his rage and uh, chasing down the Lashrak. And there's not a lot that the rest of the Dyer can do. One last hit away, he doesn't get it. Reverage goes off from the Tidehunter. Stun goes off on the Life Sealer, and uh, yeah, Axis will fly and kill off the Lashrak, and the Life Sealer gets away. It's gonna get the Tidehunter in return. Ancient Operation also goes on the on the Shrek, but Rage gets that off again. And Disruption uh, goes on Queen of Pain, who manages to blink out straight after. Uh, but we'll have some issues with uh, Life Stealer actually gets her down. Triple kill for the Life Stealer. And we might be uh, getting a fourth because uh, Swap came out and uh, Shadow Demon gets the last hit. That was an awesome fight for the Team yep. Avalanche. That was a team wipe. That was One, a team wipe. Four, five trade. Yeah, and a, not a good trade. And Life Stealer got so much gold from that. He has 3k gold again. Tower goes down. Shadow Demon gets the gold for that one. Yeah, they can need a Roshan or for some other tower or for base. Mm, Maybe get a tower. They're gonna go for Roshan instead, I think. Yeah, it would be safe. Or not, or neither. Life Stealer's mm. gonna farm a bit on the bot on the top lane. And uh, no Roshan. A four staff on the Shadow Demon. Hmm. Did you see the next ultimate? Nope. He was down on like 1 HP, ultimated, and uh, killed the Shrek when going out. Ah. And got a lot of HP back. Okay, I thought the Beastmaster got the Shrek kill. And, and maybe he did, but 
the same time. Okay. Next just survived because of the ultimate was really nice. Good uses of the ultimate. I'm still missing the black hole though. Yeah, it, I just saw it once <laughs> when it was in that disruption spell from Shadow Demon. Yeah. It wasn't too nice, but it's hard to get that ultimate off, to be honest. It's not like a tide ulti where you just hit everyone. Or you just you jump in <laughs> and yeah. just hit one button. You actually have to aim it more and time it more. No. Yeah. But uh, when done good, it, it's so worth it though. Yeah, exactly. Especially if they would have a Sand King. Ooh, Life Sealer is in a bit of trouble, but uh, not in as much trouble as the Queen of Pain is. She won't be able to uh, escape this. Ooh, she might. Yeah, yeah she will. He with that ever so played, and then he couldn't catch her anymore. No. It's, uh, yeah, he has, he's, he has an Abyssal Blade. Bloodstone on Leshrock, by the way. Strange item choice, I think. Mm, it's quite a common item on the Leshrock. Ah, but if he... Gets himself just HP, Mike's is ragging up so much. True. But, uh. And. Yeah, he might die. Ooh. Losing two charges just when he bought it. <laughs> it's very bad for him. I think he's sad. Yeah, I think, he, I, think I would be sad if I died, regardless of uh, what hero I was. Uh, <laughs> kills are even, towers are not so even, and the gold graph is way beyond even. Seven and a half gain advantage for uh, Team Avalanche. Good game so far. It's very huge, but I, I still think s some teams should start buying smokes. It's really if you are some behind and you buy smokes and force some fights with five people. Yeah, you you can get get turn games. You can get that advantage back up. Even with that lineup, they never fought with five people going into the fight at the same time. Team L6. Yeah. We see, uh, yeah, Lifestealer is still farming. Why is he farming and not killing stuff? Oh. What's he well farming for? At the moment, they're, they're pushing all lanes and maybe doing something afterwards. Let's hope so. Smoking, for example, or going rogue. Oh, I don't know actually. Does the Shadow Poison give vision? Yeah, it gives. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, and there they go. Queen of Pain ulti goes off. Tight around the ra tight under Ravage goes off. Agent Deprivation ulti hits on the Beastmaster. Beastmaster, the only one there left from uh, from Avalanche, and uh, Shadow Demon uh, is uh, backing off. Vengeful Spirit was somewhere there, and apparently died too. I so missed that kill. Yeah, that's just what they needed to go in with five people. I'll take someone, and then. They can do what they want, but now Nake's pushing top and he forces them to go back, at least with some people. And they try to kill him. I think he should go back though. Yeah, he's oh, there we go. And he can't TP with his rage on. <laughs> Very nice. Nothing Very else nice that can one. stop him. And the Blink Dagger is bought by uh, Enigma? Or. Yeah. Uh, he saw them coming with that ward on the rune spot. There's oh a smoke yeah. bought up now on Ancient Apparition. <gasps> they got a smoke? Wow. They bought a smoke. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. So, uh, the Queen of Pain is already level 19, which is the highest, lev highest uh, level in, in, the, in the game. But still, the experience graph is so much an advantage of the Dire. No. It's just such a huge difference. Well, there's a level 10. Age of Depression still. That's probably the main difference because the high lowest level is the Vengeful Spirit and the Radiant level 12. Yeah, I'd also already started at the laning phase. Enigma is getting solo experience in the jungle and they just split up the experience between two heroes on the lane and they even pulled with one so everyone is getting his own experience and on the top lane yeah. they didn't pull so much and were on the lane with three people mostly where they split it up their XP for three. Sorry. It's thirsty. We'll get Queen of Pain's items. She's gonna go pick up the Hex now. That would be great, yes. yep. yeah. great for them in the team fight. So the yeah, is finished. Be, if he can blink and text the Nakes and they can immediately shut him down, it would be so awesome for them. Without, if they can do that like every fight, then they would win. Basically every fight, especially with the Tidehunter Ravage. And 
Mm, never mind. Enigma would still be able to get in a huge black hole. And they wanted to go for the life sealer, but they uh, didn't find him anymore. Gank on the bottom lane. They find the bird from uh, from Beastmaster instead. And uh, yeah, well, they're just still farming. I want to see team fights. What? Yeah, well, we got the mechanism up on both teams now, and the radiant from Vengeful Spirit, and on the dial side, we got it on. I just saw it. We got it. Windrunner. It's Windrunner. Of course. It is. Yeah. What? Uh, well, Titan uh. just seems to be going for a pipe. And uh, Nakes is going for Heart of Tarask. He got the recipe in his stash already. Yeah. Oh, you don't see recipes and stashes in the item overview? What? In the item overview, the button. There's a. Uh, you can see stashes, but you don't see a recipe in the stash. I do see the recipe in the stash. Yeah, if I click on Life Stealer, I see the recipe. But if yeah, I click yeah. on the item overview, then I don't see it. Ah, uh, yeah. And uh, Hood almost also complete, uh, or p sorry, Pipe almost complete for the Shadow Demon. Pipe on Shadow Demon? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, pipe, uh, pipe is now completed, and uh, together with the four staff. And, uh, yes, just support. And the smoke is coming out from Team L6 now. They are trying to catch something. And they pipe went visible. Uh, he's visible, yeah. Yeah, he, he is. And uh, oh, they want. The black <gasps> awesome black hole! Hits all five of them, but there's nobody there to do the damage. Will it be able to get out? BKB is, is to hit. What the hell? These, they're gonna be able to survive this, but what an awesome black hole! Catching all five of them. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Shins. Yeah. And they just keep farming. He Ooh, keeps farming. Ravage from Tidehunter went off. And uh, as the pressure fi finishes off Shadow Demon, <laughs> they just. Uh, oh. There was no way Avalanche could win that, win that fight without uh, Nakes. Uh, oh. like and it was such a shame nobody of Avalanche was near that black hole to be able to deal some damage because oh, that would have been yeah, well so awesome. He engaged on Enigma and just the only reaction he knew to do is doing his black hole and no one it was... It, 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 uh, it worked for our entertainment. Yeah. So that's at least something. Creeps uh, of the Dire pushing out into the two last tier one tower of Avalanche. Who will defend it? A nice stun on the from uh, the Shrek on the life stealer, but yeah, nothing that really helps anymore, or nothing that really does damage to life stealer, I should say. Now, yeah, Snake well, finished his heart of the Rusk now. He has completed it. He will get it with the chicken, and then yeah, we might see them tr uh, trying to finish that game. Yeah, that would uh, that would include some good team fights and and some more black holes, please. Yeah. yeah, even though it's on cooldown now for very long, still 90 seconds, black hole cooldown. Yeah, they might wait for the black hole and then they go. I think I think they might wait for the ulties. Yeah, they have dagger on Enigma, black king bar on the Enigma, that's all they need. They have a very farmed nakes, mm. beastmaster ulti. They can take it. Yeah. They can definitely take it. Uh, by the time that Enigma's black holes up again. Uh, the Ravage from Tide will also be up again. Ooh, Life Stealer is trying to get uh, Le Shrek and he will get it. Even the Diabolic doesn't hurt him one bit. The heart is really hearty. Yeah. Heart. It's really doing him good. 400 HP, almost 3.5. And I, got, I see a Blink Dagger on the Windrunner actually. I've never seen that before, to be honest. A Blink Dagger and a Force Staff is quite unusual, yeah. it's indeed. Uh, Gush goes off on uh, on the on the Shadow Demon. Pipe goes off for Avalanche. Sh shout from the Beastmaster finishes off uh, Windrunner. And uh, Life Stealer is yeah, there. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, Life Stealer is there. Popping the black bar. But no black hole. No, yeah, he hasn't. It's ready. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a a weird black king bar, in my opinion. No. 
Queen of Pain ulti uh, does do a bit of damage, but uh, not enough. Yeah, Life Stealer just good. is ripping through Lestrak once again and kills him. Gush goes off on the Shadow Demon. Swap a uh, swap for the Shadow Demon from the Vengeful, trying to get him to, to safety, but there wasn't a real threat. Uh, they will get the tower. They will get the Rax also. Uh, the Dire are not in a state to uh, dispute these barracks. Actually, it was good. Queen of Pain ulti has only 40 seconds cooldown with Aghanims, and he just wanted to clear the creep, so the backdoor protection goes on when the Radiant enters, but then the next creep wave came, and they just took the Rax. Yeah, true. And uh, Age of Depression LC doesn't kill uh, Vengeful Spirit anymore, which is almost it. And um, we haven't seen a, a Roshan yet. Yeah, they're gathering at it, but they're without nakes. Maybe they wait for him. Yeah, but I now think they so. Spotted them. Queen of Pain knows that they're there. There goes Link Ulti in. once again. Oh. Roar goes off uh, of Queen of Pain, or a shout, I should say. They have a... Oh my god! What? What does that Ravage do? There was a Ravage from Tide, didn't hit anybody of Team Avalanche. Yeah. Shackle Shot goes on they the Vengeful Spirit. Nice! Three. Yeah, got all three of them. Uh, Tide Hunter isn't going to be able to get out of this, or is he? He might... No, there goes the Blink, or the Force wow, Staff, rather. Out. Tide Hunter escaped. Oh. No, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. I can't follow this anymore. Monster kill for uh, for Life Stealer, who is uh, now also dead. Yeah, Life Stealer is alone. No, Life Stealer is alive. She's wow. gonna pin. Oh my God, she's bringing out, but he's gonna. <gasps> oh my God. Hello, Sheepstick. <laughs> um, that. Oh. It would be fun if uh, Beastmaster got it with his uh, Necronomicon Archer. That was such a fun fight, really. What was that title, D? The yeah, title the title the well, the, the, I think the Beastmaster ball hit him and he tried to dagger and ulti, yeah, but I think so he too. missed the dagger because I just saw the dagger was disabled. I don't know from what, but he I thought it was the board. dagger. <laughs> he thought he was yeah. going to blink in and dagger and, then, and uh, yeah. To be honest, I think it would have changed a lot if he would have hit it some oh, people. Oh, definitely, it would have. Makes just... Soloing Roshan. Yeah, he's he's dead AA ult, healing. so he can't regen up anymore. Ah, uh, he doesn't need regen. No. Who needs regen? Not life sealer. This is Not if kill they him. don't stop him. They won't be fast enough, I think. Oh. Maybe Tidehunter sneaks the Aegis, would be cool. Oh no. Ventral Spirit got the Aegis. Yeah. Because they figured uh, life sealer isn't gonna die anyway. Uh, Cold Feet on, uh, on life sealer gets him uh, right away. And Ventral Spirit is gonna is go seemingly gonna waste the Aegis straight away be because uh, she is in quite some trouble. Nice swap being able to get out. Blink goes on from the Tide Hunter though. Cold Feet is on her and she will die and she Aegis will die again. Uh, left was still farming all the time here. Now he goes in from behind. Mm, yeah, she. Uh, there comes there more of uh, of the avalanche comes too, and uh, there is a. Uh, not really a lot of ulties up at the moment, but uh, Queen of Pain is. Oh, sorry, Fen <laughs> Winter Arm is gonna go down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think Tidehunter is uh, gonna have a hard time too uh, versus Life Stealer, who's just a bit faster than him. He gets a godlike kill. The rest uh, is managed to uh, back off, and Queen of Pain is back up again after having died. And they're gonna try to push in on, uh, on the bottom lane. Yep. And they have everybody alive, so they can do so. Actually, there are so much blink daggers and four stuffs in that game, <laughs> it's very hard to follow. Yeah, it is, I agree. <laughs> Thank God it's not me. Everybody, oh no, Beastmaster doesn't have blink dagger. So Queen of Pain oh, is shouted, it. we'll uh, die to Lifestealer, and uh, Asian Operation hits quite a bit of heroes, but he won't do anything. Because there's he is the only one left alive. It's not going to be uh, helpful. <laughs> What's that swap for? <laughs> what? Oh well. Just because he can, he wanted to show. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> Life Stealer gets both towers. And Actually, uh, strange well threats they play. The snakes seem to be such a... Oh my god, Black Hole is no one. <laughs> uh, and they still get tied onto it. And uh, Life Stealer is just standing there and being able to take it. Take the fountain damage. And yeah, GG was already called, so yeah. Oh well. It was... Isn't isn't this the best out of three? Um, I'm not sure. I don't follow.